Okay, hello everybody. Uh, welcome, well, welcome to late Boxing Day in the UK. So we got another uh, winning. Sh well, it's a bit odd today because usually today is uh, Mega Monday, but unfortunately, I've had to change it because of the weird things. Um, just the way things ran. I wanted to get another tech war in. Tomorrow I'm going to do a massive stream. So. Hopefully, uh, I should catch up with everything by tomorrow. So that includes a mega stream tomorrow, and that's the way I'm going to work it. Um, so I'm going to do a tech war stream today. I'm also noticing that the the volume thing has gone down again. I really hate bloody Windows sometimes. Right, okay. Um, let me just check things. Let's see, it's only dust in the stream. There's only three of us apparently. Let me update the tags, see how well this goes because last time it didn't do well. So retro British uh chilled DOS DOS and there. There we go. Done that one. Updated. Refresh and see if it does anything. Real. So that should be in now. And if I refresh my search, I'm back in on the December. Great. That's good. So. I'm just trying to think. So there's something slightly wrong with the. BGA output. Let me just try and figure out what it is. It's actually there. And I should be able to. Give me a moment while I work out what's going on. Oh, idiot. I know exactly what's going on. Somebody forgot to hit put the HDMI uh, capture in. That's why it's not doing anything. Give me a moment, I'll plug it in. Try that again. There we go. And then I need to see it myself. So come on, why are you not working now? Is that one? There we go. If I just shut it now, I'd be dead now. Not doing well tonight. Restart this. Do apologize. Right, the other thing is the giveaway should still be on. 
let me just uh, update my title and go giveaway. System dot two. Where am I up to? Why is it still doing death screen? Media part has got the right timer in. Yep. My voice is still not loud enough. Why, why are you doing this, Windows? Why is it every time that you do an update, you mess around with my settings? Okay, uh, let's see if I can increase the sound because I'm not happy with the levels. Push this up to... 84, 85, is that better? Yeah, it's better, okay. So <clears throat> we've pushed this to 85, that's a bit better now. And we're not having that kind of one over the other thing which usually happens. Right, this time we started DOS mode. Which is what I should have done before. Suppose you're wondering why you're here. It's simple. You're the best. At least I think you are. You've already figured out that if this weren't important, you'd still be in cryosleep, so I'm not going to waste your time, or more importantly, mine. Last month, Miyoshi Nakahara and her family disappeared while sailing a 40-foot wind cruiser around the world in a believed log. A week later, Nikolai Petrovsky suddenly left his lab and has not been seen or heard from since. It's occurred to me that the disappearances were no accident. Oh, in case you missed the relevance, Nakahara is a Nobel Prize winning cyberneticist whose forte is the matrix. And Petrovsky is a noted cyberbiologist who's an expert in tech addiction. The connection, if there is one, could be the worst thing to hit this city since the quake of 22. If the tech lords have developed a way to broadcast tech using the matrix, Addiction would be universal. I don't intend to let that happen. That's where you come in. 
Find out if there's a connection and eliminate the threat. Do a good job, and I think I can get you released permanently. Screw up, you're back on ice. That snap back on, so we need to load uh, the previous game. So it's this mission. We'll be part way through it. Yeah, we we're looking for Sunny. Um, we we're looking for Sunny, so we're on tap load number five. The city was in the industrial complex. I think I was kind of looking around. And you also know that um, it's got traps around there, I think. Or well, at least areas where you're going to get shot at. when they kind of pop up randomly. from last time. Oh, I see you walking to the left there. It's a sunny hologram. Jump up here. Nope, can't jump up there. I have another go. I just I can take it from here. I could jump, jump up there. I 
these the guys on this side. Waste of uh, health. Uh, with some more down here. That's a key card, which you've already got. Oops. Oh, I think she was okay to kill. Is this standard, right? Okay, standard door. It's where we came last time, and the um, the cart comes around here, but this doesn't kill us. I don't think the cart does either. And this leads back to where we started. And this is a ladder that goes nowhere. Unless the top bit opens, but I doubt it. Somebody's down there, okay. There's another person down here. Was that the two shooting at me? No. I suspect. Yeah, down here. Well, I'm gonna die. Okay.
Let's see, I think that they go through here. Yes. No ammo left. This is just full of goons, and I'm gonna die. Right, okay, so. Maybe what I should do is go around. So I'll go over there. Sometimes there's a guy on the left. Go there. Nope. Oh, the, I've already got the other guy. It's fine. There might save after this one. What was this? I don't know, but someone was shooting. And there's a guy up there. I sneak past him. Oh, sneak shot him, sorry. Nope. Uh, okay. Wasn't expecting to come. Ooh. Oh, okay. Some traps in there. Is there? If I can get to the side. There's Sunny shooting. 
There we go. Whoa, get out of there. I know where this is. Ah. Damn it, I out of Oh, it's you. Okay, dangerously slow in health now. I think I know where I am. So I might be able to get out of this. Nope. Nope. <clears throat> okay, I should have saved around the other area. Somebody tell me, told me my mission was going to be just absolutely a nightmare. And I can't remember which mission it was. Two of you doing? So my best option is probably to come round, but I don't know. Um... Hello there, stalk. Yeah, I was thinking maybe I should go round, but. Not sure if it's a good plan or not. Being shot out all the time, but now I'm out of bullets, now I'm dead. Almost, it will be in a sec, though. Is this OG hardware? I will show you exactly what we're, what we're on. Um, that's what I'm using it on. Hope the sounds are loud, are loud enough. I'm about to adjust the microphone.
game's kind of low. Okay, let me just see if I can bring it up a bit more. Okay, I've pulled that up a bit. That's what it's that's what it's like. If not, I might have to mess with the um, DOS settings. Been here before. Audio's okay, fine. I just hate the um when you get it right and you don't do anything. You come back to it and something's changed and you just don't know why. Someone dropped a key card, but I've already got it. So that's another blue key card around here. With the mix loud that the game to me it's good. The mix should be loud because I had to pull it up again. Um it could be overwhelming to have lots of noises while someone's talking. Yeah, I tried to put the uh the game level to about as half as what I'm taught. Half as much as I'm so game level this much me talk yeah uh, sorry audio this much be uh, got a game audio this much so you can hear it but not it doesn't one over doesn't overwhelm the other one but it's the I think it's just a Windows when it really, uh, changes or updates something changes. Even though you set it to a certain thing that uh, fucks around with the audio levels. Because I've not changed it since. Oh. Oh, I know where we are now. That's where we're probably going to die. Right? Yep. Now, uh, don't forget the, um, if you didn't get into the giveaway that I did, was it last week? Uh, I've still got it on for, it's for System Shock 2. I'll put on the so if you're already in you you'll still be in from last time so I'm gonna run this as long as I can uh, I've already got one person in um, so put it into it if you want it I'm gonna run it for up until the end of December um, which for me 
will be let's have a look could be Saturday or it could be Friday I'm not sure which yet I know I'm going to do some extra streams though if you've already got the game no problem I only put it on because um, it's a game that I'm currently doing on the YouTube channel, so it's kind of uh, relevant. I don't think you can get Tech War anyway on um, GOG. Game has speed problems. Um, I've not detected any. Maybe if you're not playing on actual uh, accurate hardware, it might do. Jesus Christ. I got all the secret little doors it's got. I didn't collect those two health points. Good, so a streamer having problems setting up is too slow or too fast. Well, I'm on a P133, so I don't know whether you were doing actual hardware or not. You know who it was? I mean, the best option possibly I'd recommend is if you're going to play this game, if it's build, maybe try and get a build engine to do it. Um, that might be the better idea. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, a lot of, uh, random elevators. I might save it at this point actually. Probably the best part I'm going to be yet. Right, so my mind playing on dust box was just in cycles over and over. Ah, okay. I'll have to check that stream out. And finally, the only time that this map with this colour scheme actually works out fine.
Oh, right, okay, so this is coming back from the other side. Okay, that's gonna be a big one. Did I have to read the PC gaming whip key or something? Nope. I just decided to do uh, real hardware if I could. Oh yeah, I came across this before. This leads me... Not much difference. Keep shooting innocence, but never mind. Most of the people I'm killing are uh, enemies, so it's fine. And this is the other side of that wall. I need to get some help. Uh, otherwise, we're not going to survive that. So that's more health. Right. I think we're going to die anyway. Snap them. Someone else is shooting. Bit him. I know there's health around the corner, but I think I'm going to be buggered at it either way. There was a guy stood there. I can run out to the other side. Health.
like this isn't a door it looks like, but I'm still being shot at. That's because it's him up there. Ah, oh, bastard. This round here should lead me the same way. No. Nope. It does. Oops, with the careful of innocence. Back here again. Quick look to see where that sunny uh, is it Haroto is? Give me a moment. I'm just gonna do a quick check. Nice LP mission fine. Sunny Hakuri. Six minutes this person took. I said They're going to the same one as me. Well, what was that? So there's an outside bit. Go over here. Shoot the window. Go outside. Oh, that's an interesting one.
and there's a red key. Okay. That's, this is kind of my fault, but let's see if we're correct. Let's just load this mission up. We start it. Okay, so I've kind of been in the wrong place here. So what I need to do is need to get back to... I'm just going to go down here. See if we get back to the... Oh, I've been raided. Give me a sec. Thank you for the raid and follow the Nukem 9999. Um, so for those of you coming in from uh, for, from Nukem's um, raid, uh, this is a bit of an unusual for me because my schedule is usually on a Monday. I would do a Mega Monday, but unfortunately with it being Christmas, it's kind of messed up my schedule. This was usually being run on uh, Sundays, um, so I've kind of moved it forward. And then tomorrow I'm going to do a massive stream where in the morning I'm going to catch up with yesterday's Amiga Monday and then I'm going to do a bigger um, Dungeons and Dragons stream which I'm playing um, Pool of Radiance on uh, the DOS machine that I've got here. Um, but at the moment we're playing Tech Wall, we're most of the way through and I've had to use a walkthrough to see where I'm up to. Amiga, you know, I feel better about this raid, Amiga was my first console. Um, yeah, there's the, I've got a, an Amiga 1200, it's in a case, and it's down here, um, it's in a, it's in a checkmate case, in fact, what I'll do, so if you look down below my, uh, face, you will see, give me a moment whilst I change, just do this. Right. So at the moment, I am running this game on a Windows machine. This is a uh, Windows laptop, very thick tech model, very huge. There's the um, the CD drive. Just give me a second. My wires are everywhere. So there you go. That's that's what you can see, um, and that's where you lot are. And this screen here should be... Oh no, this screen here usually is where I do the um, PC and Amiga stuff. So there's the PC down here, there's the 486 PC with a floppy and a GoTech here and a SCSI CD-ROM. And then over here, this messy part, so this is my uh, OSSC. This here is the Amiga 1200 with a standard floppy and a CD drive there. So it's in its own case. Um, I do have an Amiga 600 uh, as well as a Wedge computer for a Wedge 1200 or anything that this um, this checkmate can't do because it's got a um, accelerator card that doesn't work well with some games. It's got a 1230 uh, terrible fire, um, which means it's got a um, 030 50 megahertz plus about 100 and 130 or 128 megs of RAM in it, so it's quite souped up. Right, where is my stream games? There we go. Put this that down to Sunday streams. First Amiga, yeah, oh, it's fine. You can. Uh, first Amiga was 500, then a 1200, then a 2000. My mother got them from school. She worked at Amiga Special. Checkmate. And the second one... Yeah, so basically I bought two. Um, I don't know if I've ever told you this before, but look, I got one because of the Amiga 1200, and I got the second one because um, the PC that I've got here, you know how more PCs have... Um, this motherboard and the, the slots kind of do this across. Well, the 486 has a riser card and it's low profile. So it basically means there's your motherboard, there's your uh, riser, and then coming off the riser, it slots to go this way. So Checkmate was the only one that could allow me to do that. Uh, so I had to kind of buy it, modify it. So I had to kind of cut with a Dremel at the back of it. It's not a massively uh, great job. 
but it meant that the um the ports could uh, be shown in the back and um yeah it worked out really well and that's why i've got one of those the next thing i need to do actually is i have you might have seen this on lgr streams that this here is an isa um usb device and um, I've got a spare ISA slot, but there's no opening at the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and make a breakout thing where this uh, breakout bit goes on the top there and then kind of connects into the ISA um, slot. And then I need to find a way to mount this either on the side or on a different side. And with the checkmate, it's got like a, a little opening at the bottom at the front. So if I get a... And a USB extension to go from here all the way to the front. I should then get a um, a USB for the uh, for H6, which means I can like fit. I don't have to do like kind of floppies. I can just put stuff on um, USB and push it over, which is going to give me a bit more uh, scope. Plus, it also means it's quite cool having a um. Or it's six with a USB device on it. So back to um, tech wall. I just had to cheat to find the next part of it, which is where you uh, popped in from. Uh, that was right. You can f nine 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 nine. Um, I just need to find where the I think I need to find where the rail bit is and then walk the other way. So we've already done most of the missions. On mission 5 out of 7 I think it is. And whilst I'm here I'll also put out the extra channel. Which is where all the VODs are for December and everything else. I've also got a giveaway going on. Um... I'm giving away System Shock 2 for um, GOG. It's just a key. Um, i just put this on there. Am I running retail couple on modded? I heard that this game could be a bit problematic at retail. This is running on actual hardware, so I showed you the um, showed you the laptop that it's running on. And this is the specs. Yeah, so that's the specs of what this game's running on at the moment. And if you want to see if it's a real tier copy, there is the game um, disc that I bought. So it is running from CD. Uh, I'm not having any issues at the moment, but I've heard Fractal Mind Mike uh, did... Um, did try and run this on DOSBox and had issues with it. In fact, whilst I remind myself as well, since you rated me, I need to do... And, by the way, what were you playing? That's something else I forgot to ask. Uh, yeah. What were you doing? Oh, you did a bit of Dreamcast. You were playing Soul Color, but in fact, recently I did a Dreamcast screen. I did Fallout 1. Ah, okay. This Dreamcast stream that I did recently was this one. Postal on Dreamcast. We completed it, and it was pretty good. Although, to be fair, I think the red on red didn't quite work in the text, but I don't know whether that's because I had composite or not. Shut the overseer then, because he's just... <laughs> I played a bit of Fallout 1, I've not completed it all, so if I see anybody streaming it, I'll probably avoid it, because don't want spoilers, really. So... I usually do that sometimes. I'll pop into someone's stream, watch a little bit, and then clear off, so I don't kind of ruin it for myself. Ooh. What are you doing there, young lady? Getting shot, that's what you're getting at. And I can't bring this down, but I think that 
is the other side of uh, over here is a load of enemies down there is an enemy and across the enemy. so I know where that is um technically I'm on a Dreamcast challenge to play everything on the console but it's kind of been back burned by dust and yeah I know what you mean by that one of these days I'll go back yeah so the next thing that I'm going to do so after Dos Ember is done, I'm going to have one stream of the Atari Jaguar because the new big P uh, MU, um, that's a really good emulation for um, Atari Jaguar. It's probably one of the better ones we've had. Runs things very, very well. I'm going to do one of those on a Sunday. In fact, I'm probably going to do that on... I'm going to do that on the 1st of uh so that be this sunday coming um and then the next week i'm gonna start a new uh let's play and that's gonna be men in black on the playstation i'll buy it be by the mister but it's um be a good one that one because i've been wanting to play that for a while Right, so this is. So I'm gonna go back this way. This opens up, I think. No, it doesn't. Need to get back up. Been this way. There we go, that's what we want to be. So I'm gonna save here. Now you don't fall out, still need to do Elder Scrolls Daggerfall. I might pause RPG since I played two back to back. Elder Scrolls Arena and Fallout 1. And go for the Duke Nukem Marathon have been promised in the community for a while. Um, I need to do, uh, I need to finish personally, I need to finish Daggerfall. I always play it and just never get around to finishing it. And I've also got Oblivion on the go. Um, I need to get back to doing that. I remember when I started Morrowind years ago, I, I took a break from it. And I think it took me about another three to four years before I actually finished Morrowind and then I thought oh I'm not going to play the um the expansions because they're kind of I can't remember what I thought I think there was a reason why I didn't do it and then I regretted doing, not doing it because there's Tribunal and Blood Moon I need to kind of see those at some point I might say somebody's let's play on it I'm not sure but if you want to Speaking of PC boxes, we all like PC boxes. I recently bought, uh, let me just go over to my webcam. There we go. So this here is the Elder Scrolls Anthology. Has all the major games in. That's that. Back end here. Side like that. And then when you pull this out, comes in a book-like form. And then you've got Arena. Oops, sorry, Arena. Which folds out like that. That's where you've got C there. You've got Daggerfall. Which folds out like that. And we've got Morrowind. With the two CDs there. We have another set of Aura Wind. I think this is the expansions. Tribunal and Blood Moon. Uh, then we've got Oblivion. Which I'm using at the moment. So there's no CD in here. Uh, not on that one anyway. Uh, then we've got Skyrim. Which 
just the CD there. And then here, you've got all the maps in here, all the classic maps, which I'm not taking out because it's a pain in the backside to take out, but that's it. How much did that collection cost me? God, now you're asking. It's been a while since I bought this. I, I think I bought this relatively when it came out. Uh, so it was relatively new. I'm going to take a guess at maybe 30 to 40 quid. That's what I'm guessing at. I don't remember the full price, to be honest. I remember getting it not long after it came out anyway. Uh, anyway, this is the back of the plastic cover. It's, uh, but it's a really nice collection. If you can get your hands on it. It does not include... Um, so it includes all the main games, but it does not include the other bits like... Um, Battlespire, it doesn't include that. It doesn't include Red Guard. What's the other? Um, there was another Elder Scrolls one that was PC based, but not part of the main series. Can't remember. There was another one. Um, let's see if there's any, but the price is now at the moment. Um, what is it? Anthology. Oh, I think you might have to go through eBay on this. 2013, apparently, it came out. Didn't realise it was that long ago. Let's see what eBay says. And I'm going on eBay UK here, so it could be a lot more than your end. So, someone's got a pre-owned one for 40 quid by it now. Uh, one's got £15.40 as a kind of... Bidding war. Another buy now for 35. Someone's got 70. Someone's got 40. So well, you're looking at probably about 40 odd quid. Maybe about that time. 30 to 40 quid on eBay. But uh, it's a decent collection. Really nice. Right, uh, so I said we need to go back to, oops, not get run over. I think it's this way. No, I think it's the other way, actually. Yep, it's this way. Look, window. Get shot at. Keep here. Oops. Pretty good for a collection like that, where the collects was matching out with very. Yeah, it depends if they've got the artwork with them. Um, some of them did, some of them didn't. So yeah, just have a nosy around and see what uh, what's there. Might be different for you because I don't know whether you're UK based or not. There we go. There's the red card. There is medic kick, sneak it. Right, let's have a look where else we need to go. So go back down. Blown that up already. <laughs> You're asking me to go up the ladder and go back through the window again. 
Right. And then we go back through where we've just been on the... Right, okay. So it's saying... Saying go back down here. Being shot at from. Right, so back out here, walk up this way. through here right okay Jesus, right, we've been, we've seen this area before, because I, because I remember. Okay. Hello, uh, Kenny Cross. What did I miss? So, so the game isn't on. Wait, what? Oh, sorry, my fault. Thank you. There you go. Um, well, I've had to use a walkthrough to see where I'm up to. Can I walk through this? Yes. That's the red one. Yep, that's the red one. Which means Sunny's around us somewhere. Got him. You may have gotten Sunny off the streets, but did you have to take half of LA with him? Far be it for me to judge my fellow man, but the last time I checked, killing was a bad thing. This may be war, but the ends still don't justify the means. I don't like having to wash the blood of innocents off my hands. Don't make me do it again. Well, we did the mission. We've got two left. Miles, Con uh, Miles Connor and Janice. Right. Let's see what... Uh, the frame weight. <laughs> right, let's see what uh, Shatner says about this guy. One of my operatives reported seeing Miles Connor down in the free zone. What a big time operator like him is doing down there could be worth the trouble of finding out. Remember to keep your cool out there, or I'll have you put back on ice. Okay, so he's in a free zone apparently. Uh, let's save. We're on mission six now. I know why you have to run it so slowly because caps do may jump in frame rate depending for some reason which here but it's the same problem um I remember this is on a p1 p1133 I've not changed any settings apart from just run it on here um and I prefer to go um real hardware anyway the only thing that I think I tried this on the 486 and it was a bit chuggy so that's why I went to this one. Um, my other option would have been the uh, the Windows 98 box. And I think that's probably going to be a bit too fast for it. But I did play Witchhaven on DOSBox. And I did notice the junk being was a bit iffy on that. But I did enjoy um, Witchhaven. That was quite fun.
I need to play the second one at some point. But I'll probably end up doing that on YouTube because I started the um, I started the game on YouTube, so it would make sense for me to finish it on YouTube. Oh, this is a bit different. Stop two. Duke Freddy is probably the only build engine game you could ever hope to run in the 486. Yeah, it runs pretty well in my um, 486. I don't have much issue with it. I mean, this one works relatively okay. It's a bit... Eh. The choppiness is noticeable, but it's not massive. It's not like a slideshow. Um, maybe, maybe that's the way I see it. I don't know. You might see it as different. Uh, it's not the most efficient thing compared to Doom, but Doom's efficiency comes from the fact of it using static BSP trees. Uh, Bill doesn't use BSP whatsoever, and it's the reason why build engine games have such dynamic levels. Right, okay. You mean basically you can't do... Um, it's one of the reasons why you can't do sort of levels over levels, whereas Doom is kind of like levels. It's got to kind of come down here. Whereas build engines, you can kind of do this with it. Is that what you're saying? Mm -mm. Sectors can change in almost uh, any arbitrary manner and build. Do limits the sector to changing the height that can't move otherwise. Okay. And I know they did uh, updates to it with um, with Heretic and X. And when you look at the um, uh, some of the changes, they've got special sectors like scrolling. And I think that's when they kind of use. I could be wrong here, but I think that's when they use uh, when like effects where it kind of pushes you to the side. Um, the other thing that Hexen did was it introduced clusters. So if you had, you know, the whole idea of the, um, the whole levels, that was, that was three different levels in the same cluster. So it's all in one level. And once you've done that cluster, you do, that's it. If you do it all, it's like you've done that cluster, um, but you've done all the level kind of thing. It's kind of weird. Um... We have the software to work around that by developing the poly object system, which is essentially a hat. We always try to look at poly object from below up below. You'll see that it has no floor or ceiling. It's only walls, so no flats. Oh, okay. I'll have to have a look at that at some point. Uh, that's glass, and I don't want to get the gun out straight away. I'm assuming this is what uh, Shatner means by the free zone, because everyone's a bit kind of, it's a bit kind of uh, dingy, maybe. Oops. Jesus, a bit of a nightmare here. Everybody's shooting. Well, I have to come back out and get the health. There we go. It's bad nothing. Let's 
system of the helm. Just about managing. And she's dropped a red card. Is that something? Maybe that'll give me an idea that this level might be a bit easier. He says. Well, the object system is such a humongous hack. It's heavily dependent on how the BSP was generated in the map. Poly objects will only render on the seg they belong to. Or something like that. Capstone really needed to make the enemies in this game not automatically attack on sight with your gun. Yeah, I know. It's even worse when they're, sh they're firing through the walls. And you can't see where you've been shot at from. Uh, this is the area that I was before, and there's another health point. I'm going to save it here. Won't be the night you shoot without the player being hit, scanned to hell and back the moment I turn the corner. <laughs> Can't get under that. Probably get around it, maybe. Not you. The fuck is it? What's you? It's not you. get through the it's you get bloody pain in the ass Oh, it's fine, Kinikos. Uh, just um, don't worry about not streaming. If you're not up to it, you're not up to it. There have been times where I've kind of been very close to it. No, it's not close to it. It's basically just you get to that point, and the hours are coming up, and it's just like, mm -hmm, no, I can't. And then just don't worry about it. Um, if you can't stream, you can't stream. Don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah, I knew that was happening. Yeah, I do like the level design for this, and I don't know if you've ever seen the TV series. I think it does a good job of kind of replicating it, which is a good thing about this. But there are just some things in here that really need to kind of be tweaked. And I think the other thing was I was expecting something slightly different, and I think that's what's... Uh, what threw me originally. Because he was talking about the um, the Matrix thing you can go in. But I don't think that's until later. Oh, 
whole thing being able to do with whatever the hell you want with his sectors was what made the build engine ideal for making environments like this, yeah. Okay, this looks like it's gonna go different floor. This doesn't so this looks like a bed set or something. Yeah. I've got a red key card there. Back on the floor. I think I shouldn't have shot him, but never mind. Oops. Well, this area I've been there before. And there's a hologram somewhere. Is that it? A waste of an area, but never mind. Got a bit of health back, but that's not good enough though. Um hmm. No, that's not you. That's where you are. Back down again. And we went this way, didn't I? And did they come back out again? Yeah. And then they went up this way, that's what I did. Right, okay. And it was these doors. Oh, 
Oh yeah, get the Duke 3D get depicted there is better than Doom 2, but Doom 2 is still quite fun. There's a actual art sex as the actual space being rendered in arbitrary static direction without being stuck aligned to the camera. In build the edit you can tag a sprite as either a wall sprite or a full sprite depending on how you want it to function. Brady bridges and catwalks are collections of full wall sprites. Oh okay, fair enough. It's one of those things that I'm gonna have to render if I'm, if I'm ever gonna get around to doing stuff like that myself, but I have got and I'll show you what I've got at the moment. It's almost stood on it. Each of my spur. So, in case I've not actually shown this to anybody, I've actually got of the Doom Programming Gurus, which is the um, Doom build, the kind of book, and um, this has been uh, signed by Romero himself. And I've also got the follow-up, which is uh, 3D Game Alchemy. This was the, um, the second edition, <laughs> but the difference between these two is this one concentrates a bit more on hex inside so uh whereas this one's doom doom 2 and heretic this has got um he yeah sorry hexen as well um so it's a bit more of a revision and uh i've yet to go through them all but at some point i will do an abenosi and see if i can build a level It does have some mention about the uh, the hex and stuff, but I've not gone through it because I've just flicked through. I've not actually gone through the book massively, uh, but if it does talk about the Apollo object, I'll let you know. Um, it should do, I suspect, because I can't see why it wouldn't. Can I actually jump over this? No. Right. Oh, fuck, I forgot. I'm supposed to. No, not you. Oh, piss. That's you dealt with. That's you dealt with finally. Wonder if when Mac Max do the playthrough of the <laughs> he's seen the entire show and everything. Uh, yeah, I've only seen um the first film. I not seen the others. And I do have the T V series yet to watch. So it'll be interesting to see how that works out. But apparently it's the same production company, so that should be it's gonna be the same style all the way through. Um I'm guessing. So that should make it a bit of a uh, good watch. I did enjoy the first one. The first film was quite good. Especially for ninety four. Uh where am I going?
So I've got rid of quite a lot of these. This goes up the back way. Do you have a gun? I don't know. What happens if I do this? No, okay, it's fine. You've got the other key. Right, so there's two keys I've got now. Question is, do I need to stay here or do I need to go to a different place? Because this game is very good at doing that. And I haven't actually explored the rest of the um, subway system. So it probably be a good idea for me to go back to the subway. Let's see what else is about. Save it as well. I might stop for now. I think that went back, so hopefully. Save the whale. Bow wow wow. DR is a bum. Mind, but I walked in without a gun. show up a cover that's a bit uh, I suppose it's just to do with the fact that it sees it as a sprite so it's just colliding with the sprite it'd be nice if I could though I'm 
Look, came out of me. No, I didn't. Sometimes seeing the enemies is not easy, especially when the sprites come out completely black. There's a monster replacer mod for Cheesy Doom that's just all these tech war fails. <laughs> Wild Weasel's terrorist, but so much fun. <laughs> Gotta see that. I do love it when sometimes when people um, rip the um, sprites from different games and stick them in Doom. So you've seen it in um, when people do as it Cheesy Doom levels or just standard levels. In Doom, where you, it's obvious to rip the um, some of the doors or the um, you know the pull um, switches from Hex, and and it, they do some good jobs with how they kind of place them. But sometimes it's just nice to see that because it, it just you know that they're kind of redoing. I think you would have been alright, but never mind. Uh, but yeah, it's it's good to see those sometimes. And then here. Right, okay. Rex Blade Trilogy is a prime candidate for merging into GZ Doom because everything in that game is a loose file. Maps or plain text files, even. Uh, no, I'm being an idiot this way. Just see. So that goes back. This goes nowhere. This goes nowhere. And this just goes round. Okay. Right, I'm missing an area then. What does that say? We'll work for tech.
all this is a loo. Does it actually do anything? I don't think so. Lift though. Second floor. Oh, this is the um the apartments again. I feel we went in the apartments like that, but they didn't have one of these. Unless I'm going mad. Oh, was that in the other section? It is, wasn't it? Yeah. So they just basically copied the apartment style. Okay. Uh, you've got something you're deeply curious how the hell we're on the P123 if you're interested. It's a game that wasn't even finished. Uh, yeah, go ahead. What, what are you thinking? I probably won't run it today, but I can run it later. I've just been across it. I must have missed looking at that. Dude, shift. Thank you. You can grab the disc images to complete encyclopedia of games on two CDs by Michael Forum. So in the second CD, the folder name is 3750. Complete what you said. Wonder if there's a copy on um, archive.org. Right, okay, I've put that in my notes and have a look at that later. Yep, call Arvanuzi. Save the whale. Is this is this a clue or something? No. You have the actual CDs themselves from years ago. Share with free rare compilations. A real treat sometimes. I basically got, um, there's a YouTuber called, um, I can't pronounce his second name, but he, he does ancient DOS games. I've been doing the, um, the shovelware dickers on the hit CD. Is it? two cd hit collection or something like that and um and the only reason why i put it on this machine was because he was doing it through dos box but there were certain games that wouldn't actually run um but i tried them on here and one in particular you've got to kind of run it and then run it again and it will actually run uh with the dos box version i don't think it does it kind of 
tries and then just fails completely. Um, so I've been meaning to get a video out where it's showing all the ones that didn't work, uh, how well they, do, they actually work. Uh, Pixel Amusement, yeah. We've meaning to do that video for a bit. Uh, I need to get around to doing that. Right, I think I've exhausted this area. Unless I haven't. But then again, I think I've exhausted the other area as well. So we've got two places we've been. Oops. So we've done stop two and stop four, but it's for stop six. Uh, game on the four is day seven fifty. It's just called Nanotech. It's more of a tech demo than an actual working game. It's going to be a three D platformer, kind of like Alpha Waves. Oops, hang on. Give me a sec. Where I know I'm going. That's going backwards. To this one which we've been to and then let's just go back to the beginning bit yep and forward so it's only got two stops Uh, what we've seen. Um, it's going to be a 3D platform account like Alpha Babies, but with texture graphics and a first person perspective. It uses a partially awful version of the environment sound engine. So accept hilariously, expect hilariously, expect hilariously poor quality mod play. Okay, fair enough. I've actually now got a mod, pla uh, mod playback, um, sorry, a mod player on the 3.1 system now. Um, on Windows 3.1, it works pretty well actually. Um, I thought I might as well get that on there. Right, where are you shooting from? I forgot enemies reappear as well. Right, we've not been. I've not actually been up here. This doesn't do anything. And it's a waste of time anyway. There. This does open. I'm shooting these two because I know they all start shooting. Um, check. Nothing there. You're checking behind the counter because the. I remember one of the games I played with this, one of the missions had a key, um, a specific key press card thingy that was right underneath the desk. And I didn't know that because I wasn't expecting it.
missing something. Shopping around all these areas. I'm not seeing any. I'm back here again. I was gonna say you on the floor, but you're not. You threw the um. Threw the crack in the floor. Sound engine just corrupts the process memory and results in the most awful. <laughs> Gotta bet that's fun. It's like sometimes on some DOS games, um, if you if it if there's something goes wrong and you go out to DOS, it doesn't shut off the sound properly. It just goes all the time until you put another game on that will interrupt that and, and start that again. I think I've heard it sometimes where even if you start another game and uh, you will still still just about hear whatever the other process is in the background so it's best off starting the game that you've just come out from and then quit and then do it that way um I mean you could restart but that would be a pain in the ass right um hmm, you know what I'm gonna find out what I've missed because I'm nearly completed on this one and I'm not quite sure I'm going. Mission six. Oh, nobody's done a mission six. Tech War videos. No, oh, you have done mission six. One minute it took you to do this. Wow. You must have the red and blue key card before you start on this level. Why? Why? You can't even get the... Never mind. So it's got to be with the one with the cars on. to go through that bit where you've been shut out all the time. What did I miss? Oh, oh, okay, that's interesting. Right, okay. Where are we? So this one we need to be on. No, it's the next area. It was, um, there was some metal doors behind like a, a police car and it's through there. I'm not quite sure how the person opened it. 
I suck a trigger. So it's through here and these cops are going to start shooting aren't they? Let's not shoot, oh yes now. Well look how there's health around. Okay, so it's that area we need to be in. I just need to go back. Unfortunately, I can't jump on the rails and come back the other way because they do harm you. I can, oh yeah, I forgot, because I can just pick these up again, make it a bit easier. Alright, you dealt with. Something about coming across here. Need to take my eyes off the screens for a bit, get a bit of a headache. No problem, you can. Seven. Okay, I've not played Corridor Seven. I know, uh, I know what it's. Uh... Oh, this is a red key card. 
Aha, and that opens this. Well, that was unexpected. Ah, shit. I don't have enough. I'm gonna die. Thank you. Nice, I've got some pistol clips. Okay, can I get in and kill easily? Nope. Even the keypad sound is the same beat in Corridor 7. Capstone reusing the sounds. <laughs> right, we know where we're going now. That's probably why they're all shooting because uh, around the corner was the base. Okay, so I think after we've done this area, might be an idea to call it for a stream. I am, yeah, I am on 226. And then I can probably finish off it, finish this off this week. God, my mouth is just. Let me just wet my palate again. Since I'm failing to talk properly. Oh, oh just for that. Right. Okay, so we've got two turrets. We've got um, an area with what looks to be security, possibly. Um, and I reckon that security there is for that door around the corner, which is why they're shooting straight away. Oh, I see what you did. You shot at a barrel and took yourself out. Well, at least I didn't have to do anything about it. Okay, let's save here. Since we know where we're going up to now. Uh, did I show you a, a trick I could do with this? So if I press escape, nobody starts shooting, and I can move around with the mouse, walk right past this guy, um, but I don't think I can click. Can I click space? Can I look down? I can. Press home. Can I hit space? To open up the door. No, I can't, unfortunately. Oh, I can? There's the door open. Walk right past this lot. And I can shoot. Oh, because I can use a control. Somebody did not do this properly. So if I start shooting you. Uh, you're not dying. It's probably because the game um, suspects you're in pause mode. Uh, 
Uh, and I can't go through there now because um, that's the pause mode. It's not quite right then. Okay. So it's not perfect. Still with the, with the mouse in amulets and armor, even if you did. <laughs> Come on, don't eat it. should already be dead and there's no health oh there is there we go at least that's something I'll give me give me a bit of respite the red key card and we're done with Connor out of the picture we have a better idea what's going on but you have got to watch that itchy trigger finger of yours if you keep getting people killed it's back to the deep freeze for you and now we're on Janice unfortunately I can't save at this point I don't think. Uh, can I press save to load? No, I can't. So I'll have to listen to Janice and then we'll have to save. Because otherwise. I just received a report that a security guard at the Megacorp dockyard just spotted Janus and a bunch of his goons going into a warehouse in the area. If he gets to his yacht, we'll never collar him. Get a move on, and maybe you can catch him before he goes underground again. Right. I don't know if it's worth... Um, you know what? I'm going to call it for the stream. Janus. Yeah, I was sorry, Janus. <laughs> it's my fault. Right. I'm going to call it first stream. I'm going to get this finished soon. So we're very close to getting this done. Um, although I had to use uh, walkthroughs a couple of times. So, because... Janus got the better of you. You knew he was smart or we'd have caught him a long time ago. At least you didn't add more innocent lives to your crime. This isn't some kind of game. People are dying out there. Do I need to remind you your body temperature is riding on this? There you go. That's uh, Buddy Shatner telling us off. Um, okay. Right, so, uh, we're almost done with, uh, Tech War now, which is great. Uh, it means actually I've managed to do a, my mainstream in the month I was going to do it in. A bit like, um, unlike, sorry, uh, Iron Assault, where I managed to get most of it done, but I think we ended up having to finish it off in... Is it May or something like that? Because I had issues with this CD-ROM and I had to change it out for a new one, which is now working. Um, see you next time, Kenny uh, Cars. Thanks for popping in. Um, so yeah, thanks to Nukem9999 for the raid. Thanks for the follows and thanks for the chats. Um, I should be back tomorrow because I'm going to do a massive stream tomorrow. Um, I need to catch up with a few bits so that I'm just pop the stream schedule. 
So again, today was supposed to be Amiga Monday, but that's going to get moved till tomorrow. Um, this is UK time, by the way. Um, so as soon as I get up, it's probably going to be around 12. So between 12 and 1 o'clock, I'm going to do um, DOS games that appeared in Amiga. Uh, so I've got a few of those. And maybe I might be able to test out the, um, the lapel mic to pick up the beeper. It might not be a great idea because you might hear me twice, but we'll have to see about that once we get there. Uh, also on Monday, I will do the um, Polar Radiant stream. I think we're going to do uh, maybe two. I'm going to do the 9.31 and I might do another short stream between the Amiga Monday from yesterday and the 9.31. So, because I'm not doing anything tomorrow. So it'll give me a good chance to kind of go, here's a big stream. Uh, it'll be three separate ones, so I've got some time in between them. Um, but I'll try and squeeze all that in. So, uh, catch me at some point tomorrow. I'll be on streaming, um, hopefully. <laughs> well, I'd say hopefully I will be. I just, uh, I just know I've got to uh, squeeze three in. And then Friday is going to be the very last uh, December. Um, I might actually do it on this machine because this machine has got a few uh, DOS games on. So whilst um, whilst we're on it, let me have a nosy to see what I've got on here. And whilst I remember, oops, wrong switch. Hmm, I've got Pang. Which is the um, arcade game. I've got Bomboozle, which is... I really should pull that for the Amiga. Doom 2D. I'll definitely have to have a go at... Blade Warrior. Is that the Amiga game? Give me a sec. It is. Pretty sure. Yes, yeah. I'm going to have to shift these over to the dust machine. Yeah, because this is way too fast. Yeah, that's good. Right, I will I will remind myself to do that for Friday. That's gonna be a good one. The weird yes, I will show you now. I can't remember what it's called. Uh, C D Doom uh two D Where's the funny, um, where's the funny, that one? No. My keyboard does not have the, ah. I think it's still in Russian. So we can fire it up and have a quick look. And I don't hear any sound on it. Why are we not hearing any sound? Give me a moment. Yeah, I thought I already had done. Give me a moment. Uh, let's see. Oh, bloody wrong port. I think seven. This is where it fails.
Yeah, it's just it's just crashed on me. Give me a moment. I started this properly or not? Sorry, give me a moment. I think it just took a while for it to shut down. That's my fault. I might have to double check the auto exec and see what I set the blaster for. Should give me. I still need to clean up this mess. It's most of this I don't need anymore. Notice the amount of are in interest, but end doom uh, when you exit is Russian with the. Yeah, I think. I don't know whether it's full translation or not. I know it's the 2D version. I just, I'd like to, to have some sort of sound. Unless I could play it through Windows, but... to accept, wouldn't it? IRQ5, D1, H5, P330. I'm sure, did I put it to 7 or to 5? I think I put it to 7. That works. Ah, okay. So. Bit low in my ears. Jump, there we go. Don't want to press that because I know that's a uh, bad idea. So, yeah, we can play this on Friday. That'd be a good one to play. So, we've got the sound working now. We can do that one. else we got Ravage is probably another good one all demo maybe that's the um, virtual pool Rally Championship might be an International Rally Championship. Possibly could do that one. Some of these are going to shift over to this machine. Uh, but just a 486. And I'll be doing it through the um, serial cable. Because I've got um, Interlink. 
which is the DOS um, serial connection thing. And I've done it before whereby I copied the files from here to the here and it works perfectly fine. It's crazy, but it's interesting to see. Uh, and I've got DGen on this. What's DGen? Let me just have a look. Must be something that I found years ago and never got around to fixing it. Um, try DGen. Oh, it's degeneration, that's why. Okay. Right, I see. On DOS. That's going to be interesting to play. Right. <coughs> I have sorted Monday out now. Okay, uh, what's... Do you want to quit? You Alt Q, Control Q. There we go. Control Q. It is right. Okay, so we're probably going to be on this machine for the Friday and get some games played on here, uh, including Doom Two, which would be a good one. Um, I really need to also see whether I could do K Gen. K Gen is the um. The Mega Drive emulator, which works pretty well on this. What was it? KGen 98. Oops. Um, I think I've shown this before, but for those of you who've never seen this before. So this is a Mega Drive emulator running on a P133. Oh, that's a bit loud. There we go. So that's running I'll run pretty well. Quickly share this runs. I'll just do one run of this. So that's the genesis we can do that on friday as well uh yeah so that's what we're gonna get sorted i might put some more mega drive games on this i don't know i'll, I'll think about it it shouldn't take look too long if i do um in fact i could actually download it from the internet because i've now got the internet running through this uh, so I <laughs> just go and get some wrongs downloaded already be fine um right where I'm up to. 
Music is hilarious. Oh, some games expect you to give it a high DMA address and not the regular for some reason. Yeah, I think I'll just put the wrong uh, IAQ in, but we've got that fixed. Uh, music's hilarious. I actually have a Doom 2D music playable outside the game. They're very weirdly, they're very weirdly made foundry. Oh, okay. Um, also, if you remember the most, you can play the entire Rex Blade trilogy on here because it specifically lists 133 as the system requirements. Um, I'll have to go find it. Uh, give me a moment. Just see if I've got it on. I'm oh, just double checking something. Give me a moment. What year was this? Ninety six is probably going to be a CD based game. Yeah. I'll, uh, I'll have a look and see if I can grab that. I probably won't do it on Friday, though. I'll do it at a later date, but not Friday. Um, it can actually run DOSBox as a slow one. The game itself is called Rex Blade Apocalypse. Um, yeah, I'll look for that. But, yeah, I'll do it... Um, we won't do it for December because we're kind of running out of days. But... I'll think about it. I'll what I'll try and do is I'll try and run it after. Ninety meg. Each episode is annoyingly standalone game, which means tons of wasted space on duplicate assets. <laughs> Fair enough. Um, what I'll do is I'll think I will do that for. I'll see how I'm looking in February, and I'll see if I run it at that point. Because I'm doing, I'm doing um, Men in Black for PSX on Sunday. Um, I'll see how long that takes me. I'm hoping that might be a month's worth. Um, we'll see. It might push into February. I'll I'll put it on the back burner. I'll stick it on. I'll copy it in, and then I will look at it. I'll put it on my notes. There we go. In fact, I can just put it in my upcoming section. Because then at least I know it's on the upcoming. I have basically a um, Google Sheets where I just write these games down. So I'll put that on a Friday as an upcoming. Um, we need to swap around Men in Black with the Tower of Jaguar. And I can put that in afterwards. Uh, basically on Retro Tuesdays after Paul Ray's Radiance, I'm going to do a, a break where I'm going to do a ZX Spectrum stream for real hardware. Um, I might do some more Mystic Cores because I know some more have come out for that. And then I'm going to do another role-playing game. And it's going to be a Exile Escape from the Pit. Um, something that I played a Shareware years ago. And they've ma now made Freeware. It's based Spiderweb Software. That'll be a good one for another, uh, another long form. Um... Don't tell me that sort of thing. Let me work that one out myself. I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip what you've just said. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna see what I'm gonna be like first before I do that. Um, because otherwise, uh, 
it's more fun watching me fuck around for a while. So, yeah. Right, let's see who is available for December. Got a few people on. I'm sure that... Uh... Hang on, let me just check something. This is already done the stream. Oh, on YouTube, that's why I can't. I was hoping I can jump into Dos Nostalgic, but he does his live he does his live stream on YouTube, so can't do that. Right, so we've now got um hmm. Right, made a decision. So we're going to go over to Dr. CDCS because he's playing XCOM Apocalypse. Um, I believe that was the, the one where you had to do... Um, it was kind of like in a city this time, Apocalypse. Is that right? Because uh, Interceptor was a fight one. Uh, Terror from the Deep and the first one, basically the same as each other. Uh, Apocalypse was all the cityscape stuff. I think it wasn't as well... Uh, well yeah, Dr. CDCS. Yeah, it wasn't as well um, taken on, but I do want to see that game anyway. Optional real-time battle uh, escape combat, yeah. No, it's fine, Kitty Cross, it's fine. It's, it's more fun anyway. If it gets to that point where I get frustrated, then let me know. <laughs> uh, the only time you ever see real combat is in the next con game. There was, what was the other one after that? There was... So, if I remember correctly, it was XCOM, well, it was UFO Enemy Unknown, then it was Terror from the Deep, then it was, I think it was Apocalypse after that, then it was Interceptor, and then it was Enforcer, Enforcer was the first person shooter, I believe, I think that's the way it went, um, let me know if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's how it went. For the other imports are based on recycled assets from the failed XCOM Alliance project. Vaguely, I remember vaguely something about that because I'm sure they were talking about that in the magazines for a while and it kind of disappeared. First person technical, All right? So they're still in the first person one, but it just didn't, yeah, okay. Because Enforcer was supposed to be the weakest out of the whole lot, as far as I remember, right. Less chatty, more uh, more ready. So, thank you very much for everybody popping in. Uh, again, thank you, Nukem nine 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 for the follow and for the raid. Hopefully, I will see you tomorrow. Uh, just try and look out for me. I should be around. So, like I said, I will first I'll be doing yesterday's. Um, oh, sorry, today's. Amiga stream tomorrow, so it'll be DOS games that were featured on Amiga. Um, then I'm going to do two separate streams of Pill of Radiance um, because I've got everything else to do t t tomorrow. Um, and until then, I will see you later. Bye.